we play a game. I think it would be fun here to talk a little bit about what are some of our favorite Fallout lore, some of the items, maybe a quest, these random encounters we talked about. Uh, mm -hmm. I think so. One of my favorite little things is in the game is there's something called the Pulowski Preservation Shelters. Yes. <laughs> they look like phone booths, but giant trash can things. And they're coin operated, single person <laughs> Fallout shelters that you find on like the street corner. And just to think of the absurdity of that world that you would sit in a single person, basically in a phone booth that's closed off, there's no windows, and you would just hang out there for a while. When you walk in there, I love it when it says, you operate the coin machine and it says, wait for radiation to clear, enjoy <laughs> your stay. And it's obviously, it's a scam, right? Like you couldn't, yeah. why would they do this thing? But Some of them have skeletons in them too, to, to further cement that point, that yeah. they are not effective. <laughs> but it's, it's that fun idea, because there are probably people that think, oh yeah, the dug and cover drills. Why did we even do those things? It's a way to calm the public, but they have no actual effectiveness. You know, yeah, they keep the window so from exploding onto you. But if there's a fireball that's going to hit you, you're <laughs> being under a desk or being on the floor. It's not going to be matter much. These individual Pulowski preservation shelters, I crack up every time I go in one of them. <laughs> do you have any more that are that you enjoy? Uh, there's almost too many to pick there. That's a really good, that's a great example of the mixture of the kitsch and the allusion to the Cold War and the the grimness. That's kind of actually a perfect um, microcosm of, of all of that. Thank you. Um, in, in the Fallout world. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about duck and cover now um, and how that <sighs> scaring. There's a good Onion article about how traumatizing children will do something. Well, we just, God, we just on the podcast, we just covered the Butter Battle book, which is a Dr. Seuss book about. Oh, yeah. So yeah. that's a, we have a conversation there that I have with my sister, along with my seven-year-old nephew, and we talk a little bit about, is it okay to talk to kids that young about nuclear weapons? It's an interesting point. There's a lot of, there's a lot of kid-based things also in the Fallout world. So as you're thinking about yours, another one that I like is Little Lamplight is another one of those uh, missions that you can check out in the game. It's in a cave, and the whole group is very much um, Lord of the Flies run by kids. If you get to a certain age, you can't stay there anymore, and you have to leave. And it's this interesting storyline about what it would be like if kids ran everything. And there's all these different ways of looking at what would be someone's response to this question. I, I enjoy that. The weird thing is that in all of my uh, Fallout Reddit wanderings, for some hilarious reason, people seem to have a huge problem like believing in Little Lamplight like compared to all of the other improbable the things in Fallout. Like that really bothers them the most. Um, I will say those uh, those computer children are seems like they're doing pretty okay. And actually, the mayor I think of the little town um, he shows up in Fallout Four. And it's weird because you can't be like, oh, I remember you because you're playing a different character. But like, it's it's a nod to the to the um, to Fallout Three. I don't know. I I can't think of that that perfect example. I just love thinking of three and new vegas and four um four is really insulted by the purists the way that i think three was um when it first came out mm -hmm. and for some good reasons you know three has this purely apocalyptic vibe you're trying to find your parent you're it's sort of more mad max boy and his dog um again you're the lone wanderer so there's a certain fictional associations there new vegas is this classic kind of a Western yeah. um, with obviously the Vegas elements and robots and, and things like that. But you're, you're trying to find who shot you. Like that's a very Western revenge tale. Um, and four, I'm not as far along, um, but you, you're looking for your kid, but there's also sort of a new noir flavor, which I really enjoy. I recently encountered the synth detective. Oh yeah. Nick, Nick Valentine, who I am delighting in because that's a new like like a new uh, vibe that Fallout can have in these um, post-apocalyptic worlds, and I like that they can play with that while still having this very familiar look and all of these familiar you know uh, Easter eggs of Doom and stuff. Mm -hmm. Strange game. The only winning move is not to play. 